Hi guys, Greg Doyle here, Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat. Coming to you guys with a quick prediction video for Friday um, the 14th of August main event as episode 3 of Fight Camp. It is between Felix Cash who is 12-0 and, and he takes on Jason Wellborn who is 24-8. and 8. Commonwealth title is on the line in this fight. Fantastic fight guys, really looking forward to it. This fight it is one of those fights where we find out just how good Felix Cash is because if Felix Cash is not good enough, Jason Wilborn will win this fight. Absolutely no doubt in my mind. Jason Wilborn is um, capable of upsetting guys like Tommy Langford. He's capable of upsetting Felix Cash. So what I'm going to do very briefly, guys, give you a quick background into both fighters' most recent fights. Keys to victory, then I will finally give you my prediction. So let's start off with Jason Wilborn. Jason Melbourne is coming off of two defeats, but the two defeats that he's coming off of, I think, to a certain extent, especially one of them, it can be excused. Um, he challenged for the Unified World title against Jarrett Hurd in America. He was stopped in four rounds. He didn't get the best prep for that fight. It was relatively short notice. It was in America. Everything was against him. Yeah, he was coming off of a decent win um, recently v Tommy Langford, but Tommy Langford had shown with all due respect to Tommy, that he was limited at that level. So you can look at that one of both ways. Was he ready for that world title shot? Did he have to take it? Probably because it might be the only one in his career. Absolutely. Um, if we look at his most recent fight, he's coming off of that stoppage loss against James Metcalf. Very, very live in that fight. Very live in that fight. Um, if you guys go back and look at the fight, um, bit I want to touch point is round one in that fight. If you guys have a look, James comes out and I think, I don't think it's an arrogant thing with James, but I think in his mind he's thinking, I'm going to put a hurting on you early here. And he tries to to bully uh, Jason Wellborn and Jason Wellborn briefly hurts him in the first round. Um, he fires off a few nice flurries as well in the fight. And at times he was really live in that fight, Jason Wellborn. I think it was just down the stretch, things were against him. I don't know how good his prep was for that fight, but in the end, it became a little bit too tough. And James Metcalf is quite a hard puncher. So um, it did prove just to be a little bit too too much in, in the end for him. Um, if we quickly look at Felix Cash, Felix Cash hasn't really done very much wrong in his career. He's 12-0, he won the Commonwealth title um, in his 11th fight. I think it was Abelogi, I think he, he stopped. It was very, very early in the fight. I think he stopped him as well. Um, he's then coming off of that fantastic fight of the year contest with Jack Cullen. I really rate Jack Cullen. I think Jack Cullen has got a European title in him. Um, if he's guided in the correct way, of course that is. But I, I thought that was a fantastic fight. I was on the edge of my seat. 100% I totally agree with everyone who says fight of the year contender. It was back and forth action. Cullen was down in the fight early. Um, he had Cash a little bit hurt at some points in the fight. But Felix Cash just turned out to be a little bit too clever for him in the end. Um, and he got the stoppage victory. I think it was around about the 8th round that he got it as well. But what a fantastic little fight that was for the Commonwealth title. Um, but guys, if I can move on to keys to victory, I'm going to start off with Jason Wellborn because I'm not a trainer, but I think I've got a really good tactic for Jason to, to win the fight. Um, we shall see. But with Jason Wellborn, keys to victory, I think with Jason, I would smother Felix Cash early and stay close to him. Don't give him space to fire off his shots and look great and look a million dollars. Be rugged, make it ugly, stay close to him, pull him, tie him up. Fire off shots whilst you're in the clinch. Upset his rhythm. Um, that's exactly what I would do with him. I would stay close to him, tie him up, and I would look to fire off short, sharp shots um, to upset his rhythm. Getting into the second half of the fight stands a great chance. Felix Cash, I think for Felix Cash, his keys to victory is I think he's got to use his jab. Um, they talk about the best way to chop down a tree is to attack the trunk. So, yeah, that's what I'm going with uh, for Felix Cash. I think he's got to score shots to the body, hard hooks after he's jabbed, make sure he changes the angle, stays out of range. I think he stands a great chance to win the fight. But guys, quickly over and on to prediction time. 
it's a tough one because I think we're going to find out just how good Felix Cash is on Friday because if he's not good enough, Sassy Jason Wellborn will beat him. Don't have any doubts in my mind that that is very, very um, a high possibility, especially if he's beating guys like Tommy Langford. Um, and I just think it's one of those fights where we really, really find out how good one of our domestic prospects are. I think Felix Cash will have the answers. Do I think it's going to be easy? No. Um, could he catch Wellborn early? Yeah. To catch him late, yeah, but it really all depends what Jason Wellborn shows up. But guys, my prediction for Friday Fight Camp Episode 3's main event is for Felix Cash to stop Jason Wellborn. Guys, you want to see more from me, Greg Doyle, 8 Sleep Box and Repeat? Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, check out our website and social platforms. Guys, take care. I'll speak to you again soon. Thank you.